This fish should be a, a, a is an issue, as a matter of fact. Mm. Yes, it's an issue because even some of our some our so-called ambassadors can't even recite our national anthem. Very true. I totally agree with you. Can you imagine that? Yes. So. Today on Bata Box, I'm here on the streets of Lagos to so find out from Nigerians how well they know the Nigerian history. And to find out from them if they know some petty, petty history questions. How well do they know their Nigerian history? Let's go. Wow, how well do you know your Nigerian history? Well, I can rate that at about 65%. Not very well. And I'm not so happy about it. Uh, not too well. Okay, so uh, can we put it to the test? Not too well because uh, if, you, if I take it back to when I was uh, in secondary school, you know, I didn't do history. I'm not good with history. But you did the history in school? I'm a science student. I never so did you didn't do history? Yeah. Uh, Nigerian history, the first thing we know Nigerian history for is for corruption, which is still killing us up to now. And we are still fighting it and it's fighting us. In fact, we are tired of it, so we are allowing it to happen. How well do you know your Nigerian history? Oh, well enough. Well enough. Not really well, I don't know at all. Did you do history in school? No, I'm a science student. Can you give me uh, five names of five past Nigerian presidents? Nigerian president. Like five, five of them. We have Buhari, mm -hmm. we have Gulag Jonathan, we have Nandi Azikiwe, we have Obasanjo, and we have who like calling him? Dr. Jonathan. Mm. Maru Musaya Adria. Two. Musha Gora Sunday. Three. Shewusha Gai. Four. Yakubu Gwon. Five. Can you give me more? Can you give me five names of past Nigerian presidents? Five. Wow. Past Nigerian president. Oh, we have um, Basanjo. We have um, Jonathan. We have um, Ujuki. Nigerian student in 400 level Open University, I would say I did not do history as a student. But my, during my father's time, he told us that everyone in secondary time learns all subjects. Then now you go come know which one you go come do at the end. Was it that you didn't choose to do history or there was no history for you to? Yeah, I just don't have the flat to learn it. You just don't have the flat to learn history? Yeah. Okay, so do you know the first two men who ever rode a car in Nigeria? First to my weather. Drove a car in Nigeria. I won't lie, I don't know the answer. There's this bill uh, in the Senate right now that is tending to say that history shouldn't be compulsory for secondary school students. What's your take on that? I think it should be compulsory because a, a lot of students don't know about Nigeria. Okay. You know? And it's not good. I mean, it should be compulsory. During my time, it wasn't compulsory though. But then there was a lot I needed to know, but I don't still know a lot up to now. Okay. So when did the Biafra War start? When did ah, it start? I think I know that because I'm a Biafra myself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a good way. Okay, can you please tell us when did yeah, it start? Yeah, it started um, uh, January, I think January is 1967. Okay, you got the year right, but you got the months wrong. Okay, it started okay. July 05, 1967. Okay, July 05. Okay, and ended January 1970. Oh, okay, that's January. I know there's January. Tell me, how well do you know your Nigerian history? Not so much, but I, I think I think from what I can gather now, I think uh, history should be a, a, a is an issue, as a matter of fact. Mm. Yes, it's an issue because even. Some of our, some our so-called ambassadors can't even recite our national anthem. Very true. I totally agree with you. Can you imagine that? Yes. So. You've heard it all from people. If you don't know where you are coming from, you can never know where you are going to. Comment, like us on our Facebook, Twitter, and follow us on Snapchat. Now we are now on Snapchat. And this is Butterbox.com.